you know, the question arises, you know, whether the chakras are real or whether the chakras are primary. Because we're obviously dealing with an energy system. Now we know from a previous understanding that we can use this structure to understand based upon the ten dimensions. And we can see how the chakras correspond to these levels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we can see how the seventh chakra, the thousand petal lotus, it are all the points in our mind, a whole mind. All the possible points, real and imaginary. That is fundamental. The superposition. I, the imaginary one. Now we come down to the, the first balancing chakra, the third eye, where we get the video signal. Now the imp important thing to understand about this is that we basically see a cartoon of people, of interactions, and then we can see the consequences of the in interaction. Um, and so we have a conscience about what our actions have caused. And then we can see the, the look on people's faces, on our, on our mother's face. And so we have an intuition of how things look, how things seem to others. You know, this is the breast, it's the law, the hill, the source of the law, the source of love. So there's an intuitive balance in terms of justice to the consequences of action in the movement and the various judgments on the individuals, you know, the consequences of their actions. And this is what the, this is where the self, the ego, the observer, the driver sees, sees phi, sees this. But here we have the third eye, where we have the video signal of this flow of cartoon images and our judgment of the right or wrong of actions and the consequences of actions. Now this function occurs in the third eye. So we see a cartoon and we see, you know, judgment. We're seeing, you know, tunnels moving, the consequences moving off in a certain line. If we follow this certain course of action, we'll end up in that state. And then that will be the judgment. Now this flow of conscience and balancing conscience and intuition, this is understanding the difference between conscience and intuition and their balancing at the third eye. And so the images we use, the cartoon images we use, the opera, the soap opera, you know, that we, that we use as the main stories, the, the, you know, the fairy stories, the cartoon images, the consequences of action, and then the judgment. Also the escape from difficult situations into liberation. Now this is where it's important, because that function is obviously operating in, an, in our frontal lobes, is operating in our brain, seeing that cartoon and, and that judgment, in the conscience and the intuition. Then we come down to the next level, to the fifth, fifth chakra, and this is in the throat. So this is the important thing about understanding the chakras, is that they correspond 
to different parts of our bodies, different levels of our bodies. So, so when we come down to this triangle, the relativity triangle, the space-time energy triangle, the time and place and sexuality triangle, the date triangle, the music triangle, the distant senses, All of this is balanced out here in the throat chakra, in the voice, in the singing, in the tone of the voice, in the seductive nature of the voice, in the hypnotic voice, in preparation in the theatre or the church or, or as a barrister to be a speaker, as a politician to persuade And all of these, and then our throat, our control through the voice, you know, being a control freak, being demanding, you know, thyroid problems. You see what I'm saying? That the, the balance, this is about keeping appointments. This is about the timing. This is the soundtrack, the soundtrack of our lives, the soundtrack, the audio signal. And here we have the functioning of doing the right thing at the right time. And this function goes through the voice. So, you know, our commitments, you know, our agreements, you know, our, you know, our behavior, our dancing, our functioning, you see, is in, is in our throats. We, you know, we often approach these problems as though they're in our heads. You know, as though they're in our heads. And as though that any malfunction that can be dealt with by chemicals that attack the brain. But no, these are in our throats. And in our words, in, our, in, our, in what we choose. And this balance is following the smells and, he and hearing, it's listening, isn't it? It's, this is, obviously, this is the hunter. This is the, hunt the, the sexuality, looking for the heat, the flames, the hunter, and it's listening. The hunter is listening and then following the smell, following the smell track of the prey. So the, the, the sexuality and the dr driven force of the sexuality is affecting the throat. In, 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 this, in this balance. So this is about balance, balance again in relationships. And feelings of balance and communication. Obviously, this is a major problem, isn't it? You know, I mean, the suppression of communication, so that one is frightened to say, and the other one is controlling and dogmatic. But this is in the throat. You see what I'm saying? It's it, it's in our throat. It's there, but, but it's in our throat. But it's like it's there, choking our heart. Our hearts here. You see. Our heart wants to be free to see the course of events of karma, you know, the right and wrongs. So the, the audio signal, the soundtrack goes through our throats. So anything to do with sound or words or timekeeping, keeping appointments, any behavior patterns like that, has got to come down into the throat center. It's not something we discuss like it's a memory, like it's a commitment in the head. No, it's, it's here in the throat center. Then we come down to the heart and then to the 
the navel, the navel centre, which is the balance between the touch and the taste. So it's the actual contact and the taste, if you like, the, the, the addiction or the recognition of, of the, you know, of the chemicals in that, in that leaf or in that taste, and then, and then its position. In, in, in your in the world view in in the Muladhara chakra you know in the earth chakra the posture in the coccyx so we have the extension you know our body consciousness from the coccyx through the sexual center to the navel to the heart to the throat to the third eye, onto the you know the Brahma Sutra, the the, um, the fontanelle, the top of the head. So we have the video going through here, seeing the cartoon. We have the audio going through here seeing the right or wrong, the appropriate. But remember, this is going from the place to t for seeking a place by the smell and observing the changes, the behaviour patterns in, in the time, in the checkerboard, the days and nights. And then here we have the flow of things, you know, continuity, the flow of things, you know, the objects we're touching and tasting and recognising, the objects we're pushing through as we build up the map and obviously this map is superimposed so we can remember the time we tasted the fruit at a certain season in the space time and we can recognize the surfaces that we saw you know of those f food foodstuffs uh, so we have this build-up of these three levels, these three signals, these three variables that then, you know, manifest as our, you know, as our conscious life, as, as, our, as our being in this whole integration and interaction.